Euh, je peux vous dire que je suis un très bon chasseur. Ha! Oh oh. Euh, je peux vous dire que je suis un très bon chasseur. Ha! Oh oh. Euh, je peux vous dire que je suis un très bon chasseur. Ha! Oh oh. Euh, je peux vous dire que je suis un très bon chasseur. Ha! Ah, uh, this is Cameron's. And it's quite nice. It's a nice, nice bit of animation. Uh, I think it's. There's a few tweaks I would have for you, but overall, it's quite successful. Um, I really like this little mouse guy uh, in that thing right there. Sit it laying back, and that you invented all these. It's pretty cool. Um, so let's just look at this. Let me see what we've got going on here. The walk-in is very nice. Now I want you to see something about the texture here. He's doing these really broad, once he gets up to the point where he stops, the movement is so broad in there that it's hard for the eye to rest on anything. It's, and if you compare it to him walking in, it's easier to watch him walking in and talking than when he gets to this section here where he's super broad. Now, this is a good example of how drawings can look really they can be very appealing exciting drawings but then they're not quite working together as well as they could be so you've you've satisfied because when, when i'm going slow through here all these poses are really cool they're all interesting they're all fun they all have clear personality uh, but when when we see it at speed it's popping all over the place and I can't rest on anything. And you just want that one nice pose that there he's getting into and he's he, he's working within it, but he's not all over the place. You've got him going all over the place on this, so it's hard to to enjoy it. Uh, the hand you've done quite nice with the finger waving around. I love that bit. And then I love this part where he starts to un unfurl his fingers there. The mouth, lip sync, I think you've done a very good job on the lip sync. I just want this a little bit more friendly for the audience to... Maybe if you took, like you've got that movement here. So he steps up, puts his thumb to his chest, and then he turns immediately and does another big sweep. And then he's down, popping. Big head turn with a nice jolly. I love the drag and the jowls. It's very nice. But I just can't see any of it at speed. It looks great when I slow down, but when I'm going at, at the speed, it's just hard to see. I want to be able to enjoy that, and I just can't. Um, but I think that could, you know, you could tone that down or just choose part of that that you would use and continue. Or just not make these things so big. Um, the other thing I notice is just, and I know this is rough animation and you would fix this and tie down to stage, but his feet are sliding around quite a bit. You want to watch that. If you don't catch that, then very often it gets to the cleanup department and the cleanup department doesn't catch it. And so you end up with finished, expensive animation that's sliding around. So make sure you're catching that. Um, the walk is really nice. I feel like he's putting his weight on everything. Everything is catching the weight and walking nicely on his toes. And then when he goes into this next pose, this, the drag is fun. But often when you hit those poses, you want to get in there faster. So you're spending a lot more time probably in the in-between. So it's giving this sense of slow movement into it and then a hold. Sometimes you want to hit that pose and overshoot, right? You make it even more extreme and then settle back into it. Um, sometimes you just want to get in there and have a really tight, a really long, a longer settle and there's hardly any in-betweens between uh, the two poses. There might be a stretch drawing, a smear drawing, a dry brush drawing, something like that. Uh, but you don't really have to spell it out. And you don't have much. One, two. 
So what I'm wanting, you've got a little bit of a settle, but when it when it's playing at speed, I'm just not feeling it. Oh, that one's not so bad. I mean, I just want to be in there longer. Just a bit longer somehow. I don't know how. You, um, but when you move go over here, I think you spend a little bit too much time getting over here. So I would you got one, two, three, four, five. Six. So he's settling in about six drawings. I think you could do it faster. Again, if you do an overshoot and come back, sometimes that can give you that sense that he's existing in the spot. Da da. Because when you when you do something, it you tend to come back, right? This is being very picky, I know, but. And then here. But the drawings in between are really nicely thought out. I like that he's he's looking first on this drawing and then moving over here to this and then is getting going up to ready. That's nice. And then he deflates. And again, it's at, at slow speed. The deflation is nice. Um, But you're going into your your drawing that I gave you as your extreme you, you almost need to go a little bit beyond it and then come back so it's like a pop boom right he's going down like this boom and that gives it a sense of punctuation so I'm looking for a sense of punctuation in that um, the other thing I notice is that his feet even though we got this is something that you have to deal with in animation all the time because you'll be getting character posing uh, either from a client, a studio, somewhere else, or, or your supervisor, and the feet are not necessarily working the way they should be working, and, it, and it's a bit of a challenge to go from the feet of the cat spread apart here to when he's deflated and they're turned in. So you got to think of a creative way to do that. Sometimes just an in-between like this works, but I find popping is often better, can be better, and or if you do an extreme where it's um, not an extreme, a breakdown where the foot is lifting the weight off of it, then it feels like he's uh, actually moving his foot. Because sometimes we'll shuffle our feet. We'll just take a little bit of weight off and we'll shuffle our feet. Um, so that's a possibility. But here he's like, he's just turn. he's like duck footed and turning his feet in, which is what he's got to do. Might be better if he lifted up his heel and then turned his foot in and then put the weight down. You can do that in just a couple drawings. Um, it's just one option of how to do that. Or you just pop into it. But you gotta find a way to hide it so it's not so spelled out. Cause here I feel like that's one of the main things I'm looking at is him sliding his feet together, pointed. But um, very good scene, uh, Cameron.